Hello Film Worlders, it's me your host Micah Pendleton and I'm very sorry but I don't have an episode of Premiere Prep today. It's been a crazy busy week for me and I'm not able to finish it. Um, but I did want to get you guys something, you know, that way I just don't leave you hanging and everything. But uh, this coming up episode is going to be really fun. It's clamp lights versus soft boxes. And I've been experimenting with it a little bit, just having some fun, uh, really trying to do it right, do a good comparison between a soft box or a clamp light. And like right now, I'm experimenting a little bit because I got a soft box right there and a clamp light there. It's just, I can't wait to get that episode out for you guys because it's going to be a whole lot of fun. All right. Um, but so to keep you guys, you know, get, get something for you guys out there. Um, I thought I'd do a real quick little uh, quick tip, I guess, kind of thing uh, to help you with your ease of use in Blender. So have you ever been in Blender? Probably all everybody who just, just started using Blender and all that kind of stuff, and you're like, okay, I'm trying to select with left click and it's not working. See, what what is this little thing following around and stuff like that. All right, well, you've come to realize, you know, it's right click in Blender and you almost need a tutorial just on how to select something in Blender when you first start. It's ridiculous. Well, to fix that, just go to File, User Preferences, and under Input, select, oh, not that, select with left. Okay, and now if you go back, you can select things with your left mouse button. It's fantastic, right? Well, also, say that you're on a laptop and you don't have a number pad, so you can change your views, like going inside the camera, side view, top view, stuff like that, which, like, for instance, I'm on a laptop right here, and I, without a number pad, it's, you know, I can't do all that, which I love having those keyboard shortcuts. Well, you can come here and under Input, select Emulate Number Pad. And now I can hit 1 to go to the front view, and then I can hit 0 to go to the camera view, 7 to go to the top view, and etc., etc. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, and it works really well on a laptop. All right, now say that you're somebody who's switching from 3DS Max or Maya, okay? Well, to get yourself a little bit more used to Blender, but with the same keyboard shortcuts, you can just go under Presets and select 3DS Max or Maya. And you have all the keyboard shortcuts and all that kind of stuff that's from 3DS Max and or Maya. So, I mean, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, and could definitely help you switch to Blender if you are using one of those pieces of software. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'm very sorry it's not a full episode, but this Tuesday we do have Film World Community coming with the, uh, with the announcement of the winners for the Annoying Orange Contest. I definitely can't wait to do, uh, announce that. And if you are still uh, trying to get in your submission, definitely send it in because I have not decided completely yet. Um, so there's still plenty of time for you to get it in before Tuesday um, so that you too can have a shot at winning the contest. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'm your host, Micah Pendleton. Remember, dream big, pay small. I'll catch you next time.